everybody, it's Alvin Brown, CEO and founder of the Center for Healing and Peak Performance and Integrated Performance Services. I'm also the author of Journey to Personal Greatness, Mind, Body, and Soul, a blueprint for life balance and self-mastery. Available at all your major bookstores, Barnes & Noble, Books A Million, Amazon.com.ca, and in Canada, chapters in to go online. All right, so check it out. This is Monday Mindset. This is part of the week where I give you a little checkup from the neck up, a little nugget of information throughout the weeks. I know just one, if you take one of those things that I'm suggesting to you, because these are all life lessons I've learned, these are all things I've done through my coaching and I picked up through reading, my own experience. I want to give them to you. I want to share because all it took was one idea to turn my life around and that's what I want to give you. Wednesday, if you're new to this, Wednesday, I do this. I do these segments in mind, body, and soul. So today's about the mind, mental, emotional information. Wednesday, hump day hustle is about the body, give you things about the structure, function, nutrition, the chemistry of your body. And Saturday, soul for Saturday, give you a little soul food, something to nurture your soul because there's no use climbing up the wall of success, get there and you realize it wasn't your true authentic self that you should have been doing that. So that's how it goes. So here we have Monday Mindset. Here's the idea. Last week, I attended a two-day fully immersed board of directors meeting where we took our uh, business ideas and our bit on our cells, our deeper cells, and we took it all in to close the room and got working on ourselves, working on our business to move ourselves forward. We brought our financials in and we started looking at those, but here's the thing. We didn't even focus on the financials. We forgot about those. And we started looking at ourselves because your biggest roadblock in anything you're doing is you. So it's best to focus on yourself. This is what this is all about. You. You can't, the world outside won't be any better than you are. It won't be as efficient as you are, as peak performance as you want to get. It's about you fixing yourself first. So that's what this is all about. All right, so check it out. On Friday and Thursday and Friday last week, I immersed myself. And these are, I want to share one of the ideas that came out of that. One of the participants was complaining about getting respect around him and from the, the people that surrounded him. He felt like he was giving, 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 but wasn't getting anything back. So here's, a, here's what I found out though, something we all do. And here's the title of this one that I want to tell is, do you value your greatness? See, this person, this particular participant, he was, and, and let me tell you, I wasn't looking at him like he was any worse because I was I struggled with the same thing too. And we all do in some way struggle with what everybody else does in some different degree. So here's the thing. This guy was a great, he's great at manifesting things. He's great at developing se uh, seminars, products, services, and it really became successful. But here's the thing, you became so great at it that he forgot the value of what he brought to the table. He just thought everybody could do this. And he just thought that it was nothing. So he devalued the work and the greatness that he is. So around him, everybody would take advantage of him because he wasn't valuing what he brought to the table. He thought, you know, so what, I did it, it's easy. It was easy for him. So he thought it wasn't that big of a deal. Meanwhile, this guy is manifesting such amazing things four businesses and, and he never went to university beyond high school I don't think and this guy he created businesses he created four or five businesses that were successful but then he was losing money because people were taking advantage of him and he was demanding respect he wanted respect from the people around him everybody took advantage of him but the question came back to do you value your greatness and that's the question he had to look inside of himself if you don't value you and what you bring to the table and, and how powerful and amazing you are, how do you expect me to look at you and go and put you on this level that you don't think you even deserve to be? See, the, it has to start with us. We have to value what we bring to the table and the greatness that's in us and what we've done so far. That's why in the past videos I've talked about build your, do, your done good list. Give yourself credit. You don't have to be from an ego level but you have to remind yourself that you are amazing because a lot of times we focus on the negative so if you want respect from others give it to yourself first put yourself on another level know that you deserve it and that's what this is all about so the question is I want you to journal on this do you value your greatness do you value what you bring to the table what you've done so far for the company for yourself for your family do you value it because when you start doing that when you start to value yourself, other people will start to then value you. You can't, it's almost like people who don't have any self-esteem. They want others to think they're beautiful when they don't think they're beautiful themselves. The first place it starts is with you. If you're beautiful, other people will start to say, 
wow, there's something about you. It's not even about the aesthetics and the looks. It's something about you, your spirit, that just resonates and draws people in. So it comes from that. So that's a question of today to start your week off. Do you value what you bring to the table? Because you have to do it first and then others will follow. Do you ever, there's a, here's a question. Do you ever notice that when you go to Apple, they don't bargain with their price? They've got one price and that's it. BMW, no one goes in rarely and argues about the price of a BMW. And the higher you go in products and services, you rarely find someone arguing or bargaining over price. The lower it is, the lower it is. email whatever it is we have for online coaching remember you don't have to be in if you're in another geography I can still help you out I can still get you that to that next level all right so until next time I want you to be relentless about your pursuit for greatness value what you bring to the table peace